Uh, Nigel, uh, I'll start if you don't mind. Uh, ben Ransom at Sky Sports News. Um, I heard you say pitch side that you can't dwell on tonight's game for too long. Mm-hmm. Because the games do come so thick and fast, how big a challenge is it for you to get the players to forget tonight almost and get ready for the game of the weekend? Well, we'll find out the weekend. I mean, but, you know, it's about talking about uh, what's happened tonight and uh, some good things, some not so good things. Um, it, I, I feel it's a bit of a missed opportunity and it's uh, that's not to take anything away from from Burnley, I thought they, uh, I thought they played played well. I thought they saw the game out pretty effectively as well. Once, once they'd taken the lead, um, but you know we've we've spurned opportunities, and in the first half we, we we made too many unforced errors, and I think that that caused us um, caused us too many problems. Anyone else? Yeah. Nigel, if I could, please. Um, did you feel that... Just, the, give us, just give us your name and where you're from. Oh, sorry. Ian Parker from PA. Did you feel yeah. that the bricks breaks affected the, the flow of the game? It seemed like the, the momentum shifted each time the game was stopped. Well, if it did, it's... Again, it's... Um, I don't think there's any point saying too much about that, just, just based on the fact that uh, they are a part of the new organization of it so yeah i mean uh, all i would say is on that that sometimes when you when you're in the ascendancy um sometimes it gives your opponents a chance to to regroup uh i think in the first half uh, they were very much on top before the first drinks break as we were uh, in the second half so you read into that what you will but um yeah, I don't, I, I don't think that is a, a key factor uh, of the result tonight. Nigel, Mike McGrath here from The Telegraph. Um, is, is it a danger sometimes playing against a team with seemingly nothing to play for um, in mid-table, whereas yourselves are fighting? Is it a different kind of challenge? I think every time you play a, a, a fixer in the Premier League, one of the dangers is that that um, other people can, can, if you like, um, judge how easy or or hard the game's going to be about the status and sometimes, yeah, positionally um, where people are. Uh, what I would say, whenever you play against one of Sean's, you, you know it's going to be a, a tough game. And we knew they'd be smarting from the result uh, against City. So uh, I don't think really, I, I tend not to, to look too much at that as a, as a factor. My, the barometer of how I measure our performance is always us and what I know we're capable of. Um, and that's really how I measure our performance. It's so... And I think you would be doing a club like Burnley a disservice if if there was a a suggestion that they wouldn't go into games like this with anything other than 100% intention of of winning the game. So um, I think when you look at the fixtures that have been played so far, there have been some, yeah, maybe some surprises in terms of how the games have gone but certainly how our teams have dealt with the situation I thought at the weekend our players dealt with playing at home particularly well uh, with no no crowd uh, today we just made too many unforced errors in the first half which didn't allow us to to find any rhythm in the game and uh, and consequently you know it was it was hard for us to to have the impact that we wanted, even though we had you know, some promising moments in the first half, we we were uh, we allowed ourselves to be bullied a little bit at times. And uh, but the irony is, of course, we played much much better in the second half and then conceded a goal. So that's, that's sometimes how it goes, I'm afraid. But second half of the performance was 
pretty positive. I think we spend a lot of time um, dictating the play for, for pretty long periods, um, but conceded a goal from a goal kick, which is very annoying for us. Nigel, hello. <clears throat> it's Adam Leventhal. Hi there. Hi, Adam. Um, just a question about the personnel. You made the changes with, with Danny Welbeck coming into the side on the left-hand side, and it was almost yeah. as if you were with a, a 4-4-2 to start off with. Can you just explain your, your thinking behind that and how you felt you know, some of the alterations that you made during the game in terms of changing shape went? Because we needed to do it. Not rocket science, basically. Um, I think it would be naive to think that we would play every game with exactly the same personnel. But Danny Welbeck did well tonight. To be fair, I he was a he showed really good energy levels. Um, you know, considering um, the difficulties he's had this season in, in in terms of injuries and and opportunities, I thought he did pretty well tonight. And uh, yeah, but I look at half time. I felt we needed to make changes, and uh, just because we were not, we were not either dominating periods or we weren't dealing with um, it's more about making changes to to freshen it up, and uh we're not going to play the same team in every game that we play certainly not when you've got three games in a week in the temperatures that we've got at the moment you've also got to bear in mind that we've had players coming back at different times so their their um robustness it's not about whether they look all right it's about what the risk of certain players is of picking injuries up and we have to take that into account in terms of selection and in terms of how we manage the games. And uh, so I actually think in the second half, the players, for the most part, dealt with dealt with the physical demands of the game pretty well. But that's maybe down to the fact that we spent a lot more time with the ball in the second half. Okay, guys. Uh, just... Sorry, Ryan, 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 go on. Ryan. Um, hi Nigel. Just um, hi Ryan. You um, in your, in your Sky interview, you said that cohesion was a problem. Was was that to do with with the shape in the first half, or, or was that just the the circumstances? Well, you you make your own mind up on that. I know what I think about it, and it, it, the shape's nothing to do with it, as far as I'm concerned. It's more to do with um, decision making on the pitch, and we didn't impose ourselves on our opponents. So. You want to use the the shape argument, and that's your prerogative, but not for me. All right, guys. Okay. Thanks a lot. Take care. Cheers. See you now. Bye.